every year, thousands of people around the world report strange and unusual encounters with visitors from another planet. They describe mysterious crafts in the sky and terrifying tales of abduction. Some are fantasy, but the stories you hear tonight just may be true. Ten tales recorded in history have been investigated and will be explained. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ten experiences so strange that the only answer can be alien. Join us as the top ten alien encounters of all time are unseen. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades, detailing every UFO account, are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents. Find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unseen Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Of all the incredible extraterrestrial events reported throughout the world, only 10 are astounding enough to be included in our top alien encounters of all time. We begin our countdown with a trip to a place whose name says it all. Number 10, the Bermuda Triangle. On December 5th, 1945, a team of five Avenger torpedo bombers with 14 crewmen in all were on a training mission over the Atlantic Ocean off Bermuda in an area called the Bermuda Triangle. Now this was at the same time that at the end of World War II, American fighter pilots were seeing these floating balls of light called Foo Fighters. Toward the end of their exercise, the flight tower at Fort Lauderdale Naval Air Station received several calls from the pilots. They are scared and disoriented. The scrambled transmissions become strange, then cut off. The crew of 14 and their five planes disappear, never to be found. So if this was actually a UFO encounter, if a UFO intervened and interfered with the planes, then this would go down as the largest UFO abduction in history. All that we know for sure is, is that the planes vanished, vanished into thin air, as did other planes over the years. Although never proven, the disappearances of over 750 people passing through the Bermuda Triangle have been reported. If this is the work of alien abductors, the Bermuda Triangle might be one of the biggest extraterrestrial hotspots on planet Earth. Up next, the night we went to war with a UFO. Number nine, the Battle of Los Angeles. On February 24th, 1942, shortly after the United States entered the Second World War, 100,000 people watched as an unknown craft invaded the skies of Los Angeles. Anti-aircraft guns went into action against unidentified aircraft in the Los Angeles area. Searchlights closely followed the object down the coast and kept it centered in their glare. 1,400 anti-aircraft shells are fired at the object but it remains in the air, untouched. From the chaos that uh, this whole event caused, all these artillery shells going off, roughly five people were killed in the event. One of the things significant about this story is that it's one of the first times that our own defenses denied the possibility of a UFO and went on record doing so. The military claims the object is a weather balloon, but offers no explanation for the lack of damage to the craft. <laughs> the greatest military force in the world couldn't shoot down a lost weather balloon. I mean, the thing was just hovering there for almost an hour and they couldn't shoot it down. We didn't know it at the time, but what people were experiencing on that night was probably one of the first mass UFO sightings in the United States. Number eight, the Solway Firth Spaceman. May 23rd, 1964, Cumbria, England. A father takes his daughter to a park overlooking the quiet inlet known as Solway Firth. He snaps a photo of the little girl. But it's when the film is developed that he makes a chilling discovery. 
Jim Templeton took a series of three photographs of his daughter. On two of the photos, nothing unusual was seen. But on the middle picture, what seems to be a strange figure, white clad and wearing some sort of space suit and helmet, is visible in the background. The photo was so puzzling that the Kodak Corporation even offered a cash prize to anyone who could debunk the image. That prize has never been claimed. To this day, the identity of this strange being is unknown. Coming up next, the countdown continues when a UFO collides with Earth, alien beings take on the police, and later, the number one encounter that will leave you speechless. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. From lurking alien beings to mass abductions in the Bermuda Triangle, the top 10 alien encounters of all time have the power to amaze and terrify. But the countdown has only just begun. Join us as we continue with the most infamous UFO case of all time. Number seven, the Roswell Incident. The Roswell incident has become one of the most well-known and biggest UFO cases of all time. But not many people really know the true facts surrounding the case itself. July 8, 1947. Roswell Army Airfield reports they have recovered a crashed flying disc on a ranch in Roswell, New Mexico. The story immediately hits national airwaves. July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. Days later, the military retracts their statement, claiming what was believed to be a flying saucer is nothing more than a weather balloon. The story just doesn't hold up. Soldiers came forward and said they were assigned to recover debris from the crash disc. They recovered the alien bodies and even a live alien that was recovered. But then the bombshell dropped. In April of 2011, the FBI vault finally releases a document from 1950. It reports flying saucers found in the New Mexico desert and the three-foot bodies recovered from the crash. This could be the final confirmation we need to know that the Roswell story was real. Roswell may be the most important UFO crash in American history, but our next alien encounter made a huge impact on the other side of the world. Number six, the Russian UFO artifact. On January 29th, in 1986, in Dalnyagorsk, Russia, Hundreds of people witness a red streak shoot across the sky and crash into a mountain known as Height 611. What investigators find at the site of impact is irrefutable proof that something crashed on the hillside and has disappeared. After the object crashed, all that was left was a three meter wide crater and these strange dark glass beads. Where did the rest of it go? And what was the nature of these strange glass-like beads? Chemical analysis reveals the beads contain significant amounts of rare earth elements. But that's not all. The Russians threw a lot of intelligence onto this problem. And these researchers and scientists claim that these beads had strange physical properties. They said that these beads did not reflect radar. One bead actually disappeared in front of their eyes. Some of these researchers claimed that these beads exhibited anti-gravitational properties. The origin of these beads remains a mystery. Today, they are being protected by a private facility in Las Vegas, Nevada. Number five, close encounter at White Sands. 1964, Socorro, New Mexico. On April 24th, Officer Lonnie Zamora is driving through the desert 
outside White Sands Missile Range. Suddenly he sees a disk streak across the sky and disappeared over a ridge. Going off-road, Zamora comes upon a massive circular craft landed in the desert. He stops 200 yards from it. As he steps out from his vehicle, he notices two figures by the ship dressed all in white. He saw two very short beings outside the craft. When they discovered him that he was watching, it was like he startled them somehow. They turned around and got back into the UFO. Immediately, the craft raises up and charges straight towards Zamora. It flies over his head and away. It flew pretty close over his head. And in fact, he even sketched an insignia that he saw on the bottom of the craft. Investigators from the US Air Force and the FBI descend upon the scene. They find the sand is scorched and fused together. Impressions in the ground are not unlike those left on the moon by spacecraft. One of the most important facts about the Socorro incident is the witness himself. He was highly respected and there was really no reason for him to put his job and reputation on the line to talk about this UFO. If true, the Lonnie Zamora sighting will rank as one of the first reported close encounters in modern UFO history. The Lonnie Zamora sighting is number five in our countdown of top 10 alien encounters. But just wait until you see what's coming up next. From extraterrestrial messages to terrifying abductions and alien beings caught on camera, if you think you know what the number one alien encounter of all time is, Prepare to be shocked. Don't miss the final four. When we return, this is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. We're counting down the top 10 alien encounters of all time. You've seen shocking stories of sightings, cover-ups, and UFO crashes. But you'll never believe what's next and what made the top of our list. Join us as the countdown continues with number four, the Phoenix Lights. March 13th, 1997. The entire city of Phoenix, Arizona is paralyzed by an incredible sight in the skies above. When thousands of people were outside on a very beautiful night looking up at the sky, for a glimpse of the hale -Bopp comet. They also caught a glimpse of lights, orbs, balls of light in a V formation over a mile to two mile wide. This was thousands of people in the sixth largest city in the United States at the time describing this strange object. The United States military decided to come out and say that the Phoenix lights were nothing more than aircraft flares launched from military jets outside of Luke Air Force Base. Now here's a problem. I filed a Freedom of Information Act request for all documents pertaining to any aircraft flares launched the evening of March 17th. They told me something very interesting. Luke Air Force Base didn't launch any aircraft flares. Their explanation simply doesn't add up. We can't explain the Phoenix Lights to this day and the military won't even touch it. These incredible lights made headlines as one of the largest mass sightings in history. But the witness in our next account became world famous for a much closer encounter when he was abducted and taken on board an alien ship. Number three, the Travis Walton abduction. The Travis Walton UFO encounter is one of the most incredible UFO encounters in history. It was November 5th, 1975. There was a group of uh, seven of us, man. Uh, we were working uh, up in the mountains in the woods. It was nearing dark as Walton and his co-workers headed home through Arizona's dense Apache Sitgraves forest when they notice a light in the trees. When I got up to it and I, I was standing there looking up at it, uh, the sound suddenly got louder and it started to move and it was making this sort of a rocking motion. And right at that instant, something hit me. The next thing I knew, I was regaining consciousness, but I was in a lot of pain. I saw these forms over me, and when I finally got it into focus, I could see this 
creature looking at me, and I could hardly move, and my arm felt real heavy, and I was weak. What the hell are you doing? Come back! Walton's friends had left shocked after he disappeared into the forest, but not as shocked as they were when he reappeared days later. I didn't know how much time had gone by, and they said, hey, feel your face, and I, and I felt, and I had this, you know, week's growth of beard, and I was just totally shocked by this. I said, you've been gone five days. What Travis Walton experienced was a close encounter of the fourth kind, actual alien contact and abduction. But the subject of our number two alien encounter not only made contact with a UFO, he also brought back a message. Number two, the alien code. On December 26th, 1980, Security personnel from RAF Bentwaters in the UK went out into Rendlesham Forest to investigate a series of lights where radar said an aircraft might have gone down. Upon entering the forest, Sergeant Jim Penniston and a small team of soldiers encounter a UFO that lands right before their eyes. He approaches the craft and places his hand on the surface. But as he does, Penniston is frozen while a mysterious code is beamed into his mind, a telepathic communication. I had an explosion of white light uh, where I couldn't see, I was blinded. And I uh, started seeing ones and zeros flashing. It wasn't until 30 years later that fellow witness Jim Burrow saw the code and realized what Penniston had received. As we were going through the book, he came to some pages, had zeros and ones on it. I looked at it and I said, these are binary codes. The team had the code deciphered, revealing a shocking message. Exploration of humanity. Then, latitude and longitude coordinates. Continuous for planetary advance. This alien message may hold the secret of mankind's future or its past. But our next shocking account could put us face to face with alien beings. Next, it's time to reveal the incredible real life footage behind our number one alien encounter of all time. And you won't believe your eyes. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. In the top 10 alien encounters of all time, you've seen amazing UFO crashes and terrifying tales of abduction. But nothing has prepared you for our number one. Number one, the real men in black. On October 14, 2008, a Niagara Falls hotel manager reports sighting a black triangular UFO to local authorities. But that was just the beginning. On the following day, the manager received frightened phone calls that two inhuman men had just walked into the hotel. Eyewitnesses said that these two individuals didn't have eyebrows or eyelashes. They didn't blink. One person said it was like they could read her mind. These are the men in black. Like all of our encounters, this may bring us closer to alien life than we've ever imagined possible. And that's what makes them the top 10 alien encounters of all time. This is Unsealed Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.